Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. You know, the 50th anniversary of the first walk on the moon, it's coming up in 2019. So what better time to focus on space than now? I have on the table some different dyes that are space related, and we're going to see how fun it is to put it into a pop-up report where they look like they're kind of floating in space. The first one is the International Space Station, and when I hold it up, you can see it's got the solar panels, even these two loose panels, they're all meant to rotate in order to face the sun. It also has all the places for the different docking stations. It's really important the kids can look all that up and figure out where the docking stations for the different space vehicles. Then if you want to look at the next one, this is the re-entry capsule and the die has perforations here so that the door to the re-entry capsule opens and closes. And when I flip it over, you can see I just have a photocopy. I took my brother's third grade photo and I placed it so that it looks like he's sitting in the capsule, which is kind of cool. Next to that is the parachute, and this looks like the parachutes that actually were used to float down the reentry capsule. So on the report, we'll see how we use those together. And then I use the globe, and when I flip it over, you see I just put a green circle behind the one that I die cut out of blue so that it looks like the continents are green sitting behind the blue ocean. And then the final one is the astronaut, and I've just added with black marker some of the details and I've placed a little bit of skin color behind the opening where the face actually pops out of the die. Now those are the dies I used and here's the pop-up report. I called it out of this world. You can see that I have John Glenn, the first American astronaut to orbit the earth. And so, and then I've got, of course, lined paper for the story or the report the kids will write. The second pop-up page shows the re-entry capsule <laughs> with my brother, uh, of course, inside, and the parachutes. And then page three shows the International Space Station. I added a page four. I started putting in planets. I decided to alternate and have what should be blue was green and vice versa because this might be kind of fun to talk about what other planets might still be discovered. This is where the kids can maybe get creative and instead of being factual, maybe start being just you do it as a creative writing story. In order to do this, you need to see how to do a pop-up style format. And that's not difficult. I just took construction paper and I took paper that was nine by twelve. And you want to start by folding it in half. So I'm going to just fold it in half. And then you want to place two slits. And I don't normally, I usually just start cutting, but I did it with pencil so that you could see. Basically about an inch apart and about an inch long, I have two slits I'm gonna cut. How long they are doesn't matter, how far apart they are doesn't matter, but they do need to be the same distance, the same depth. Because after I cut the two slits, I'm gonna fold it. And if you want, let me move this so you can see better, if you want this fold to be straight, then your cuts need to cut in the same amount, roughly. Then I'm gonna press on it, open it up, open the page up, and with my finger, I'm gonna push on the part that we just trimmed, so it pops that section out, close it and reverse those folds, and I've created the pop-up format. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll add, I'll put a little bit of adhesive behind the lined paper that will go underneath the pop-up section so that you have room for the creative writing for the story. And then you're gonna to wanna to place the element that's gonna go on this page. So if this happens to be the first page, I'm gonna go ahead, put adhesive behind John Glenn's boot on just one section of this die. And then I'll take the earth or the, the globe and I would go ahead, I'll put a little bit of adhesive Position that so that it looks like it's sitting, oops, let me move it so it doesn't peek out, sitting behind. You can see how you're going to create the different pages of the pop-up. Once you have all the pages done, you're going to take the back or the bottom of page one and put adhesive on it and attach it to the front of what will be page two. So here's page two, I'm just lining up my paper and pressing, then I would keep going. Now I would put adhesive on the back and attach this to the next page and put adhesive behind as many pages as you want until when you're finished, you will have the report. But your report will have these notches for the different pop-ups. So if you want to cover those up, you need to cut paper that is the same 
it needs to be wide enough to cover this, these notches, and the same width. This is going to sit over the top. This one is not, I don't have it actually fastened, glued together, but it's going to sit inside. I added some pattern paper for some more detail. I used, I printed something out, the title. So look how quick and easily this could all come together. A really cool pop-up report. You know, a pop-up report that features space die cuts is really out of this world.